we are tracking at least the potential for a bit of rain as we take you through the remainder of the afternoon and into this evening. However, any storms that we do see, they are going to be nowhere near as intense as the storms that we had yesterday. We're kind of tracking a bit of a crazy pattern through tonight and into early tomorrow morning. We have a cold front that's going to move through, obviously bringing some cooler temperatures. But as that coolest air rushes in, could fire off a few showers late tonight that will last through early tomorrow morning. So a bit of a soggy start to what's going to end up being a very fall-like day. Temperatures tonight, they're dropping into the 40s and 50s across the lower elevations. Once you head west of I-25, we're dropping into the 30s and 40s. So it's going to be cool tonight and cool tomorrow morning and cool through tomorrow afternoon. 68 degrees is all we're expecting around Colorado Springs. 76 in Pueblo, 72 in Walsenburg, 74 to 76 across the lower Arkansas River Valley. The San Luis Valley, 77 is what we'll end up with in Alamosa. So definitely not feeling very much like an August afternoon. As I mentioned, we are going to be tracking the potential for at least a few scattered showers through this evening. Here's a look at 8 o'clock, and we could have a bit of light rain across northern El Paso County into northern Teller County. Taking you into tonight, though, that rain likely going to come to an end with another band that's going to slide in early tomorrow morning. Here's a look at midnight. Most of the rain is off to our north, but taking you into early tomorrow morning, right around the time when you'll likely be waking up, heading into school or work, we're going to get those showers to expand really out across the plains. That's where you see most of the yellow, which is SkyCast way of suggesting some of the heaviest rain tomorrow morning will be around Burlington, Lamar, and just to the north of Lamar. We are expecting these showers to stick around through about 10 o'clock and into the lunchtime hour, but then through tomorrow afternoon, all of those showers, they're going to come to an end. Skies will begin to clear, and then we'll just be left with that cooler air. So all in all, a relatively quiet weather day, but once again, might need the umbrella through the first half of tomorrow. 68 tomorrow and then just as Colorado weather likes to do we are going to ride the, the temperature roller coaster here over the next couple of days 60s tomorrow or back in the 80s though Thursday Friday Saturday and then the cooler air returns uh, once again 74 on Sunday we'll have a slight chance for storm Saturday Sunday before we dry it out into early next week once again Pueblo 76 degrees tomorrow 80s on Thursday we're back in the 90s Friday into Saturday Saturday Sunday a 10 percent chance for storms Canyon City could have a bit of rain early tomorrow morning with 80s expected Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Again on Monday, the 90s aren't going to return to Canyon City until next Tuesday. And in Teller County, 62 is what we'll end up with tomorrow. 70s are back Thursday, Friday with 70s lasting through the weekend. We get a cold front that moves through Saturday night into Sunday morning, cooling your Sunday down. So if you're already planning your weekend, just keep in mind that during the afternoons, could get a few showers, but again, it doesn't look like we have the severe weather setup like we had yesterday. So as far as afternoons go, not quite as bad. Yeah. yeah. So tomorrow in the 60s for Colorado Springs and Teller County, we're going to need our hat feel, and gloves. I yeah. mean, break out the boots. Indeed, yeah. it's going to feel like football weather <laughs> tomorrow. People will be making chili. I'm sure the grocery stores will be packed with people yeah. looking for hot chocolate and all that. Kind we of should stuff. just tailgate tomorrow. And then we'll return it. I mean, lot. I'm in. Get us ready for football That's season. A great idea. Sounds good to you me. You can never be too prepared to tailgate. Mm -hmm. I will meet you out there in all of my Broncos gear. All right. That yes. sounds good. I hope our producers are listening and already mm -hmm. making plans for that time. We yeah. need to get grocery that. list. We need yes. to get that done. And if Rachel wants something done, it gets done. <laughs> Trust me.